What's up, Quan Warriors? Welcome to day 80 of our 100 days of algo trading with Python. I am Kuldeep, and today we are crossing the threshold from analyzing data to actually making trading decisions. Before we dive in, let me invite you to our school community, the Quantitative Elite. We are building an elite network of algorithmic traders where we support each other, share insights and grow together. And I also host weekly live meetings in which we solve problems together and you will also get access to all the videos and resources in the community in a very clean and organized way that makes learning so much easier. Check the link in the description. In the next 20 minutes, here's exactly what you will get. A fully functional trading signal generator that tells you precisely when to buy or sell. The ability to combine multiple technical indicators into one clear trading system. Practical Python skills to transform market data into actionable intelligence. And last but not the least, the power to remove emotions from your trading decisions forever. This is where theory becomes practice and knowledge becomes power. Let's dive in. So this is a school community and you will get the link here. So just click the link in the description and you will get the link for the GitHub code where you can download this or you can clone the GitHub code in your local. And I will also deploy this code into live application in which you can you can clearly see that it is working fine and what you need to do you also need to uh, like write the code and if you want to read the book then please read it because it will definitely give you an edge over the others then after reading the book please uh, clear your concepts from the earlier videos we have covered all the concepts of python and the trading then you make your own project in your local and once it is working fine then you deploy this project into live so anyone can access and you will build a portfolio of yours right so it will help you in trading also and also if you are like studying the algorithm trading then it will definitely like boost your portfolio into an another level right so let me give you an overview that how it will work right so so this will be our basic trading signal generator framework right so i'll just write trading signal generator framework right so in which basically we have uh, four blocks generally right so what happens the first block is where we collect the market data right then the second will be technical analysis engine so then the third will be decision engine so and the last will be trading signals right this is a basic flow chart so let me quickly write it is your market data collection in which you have all the market data right so which includes and uh, let's say let's say you have price you have volume you have order book right you have historical data and you might have alternative data right so it will be that so we have multiple ways to collect this and i explained in the videos uh, very well uh, previously in the series and also we can discuss it further in our uh, school community right so you can join that and we will discuss if you need uh, help but definitely if you have seen all the videos and if you want you can read the book and i don't think you will need help because these are very well uh, like very explained very well in both the book and the uh, videos so that should be enough for you right but if you still have you can join us in the uh, weekly live call so we will discuss that also right the second is technical analysis engine so i'll just write this short form technical analysis engine right so in which in which we have let's say uh, trend indicators right we have momentum indicators we have volatility indicators we have uh, volume indicators right so volume indicators so like there are multiple indicators but these are just basic like this was the example we can use any signal combination logic right so right signal combination logic in, in which we can use the weight assignment confirmation rules and filtering right 
So there are multiple methods we have discussed in the previous system videos. And if you want to explain these in more details, to make more videos on trading systems, very detailed, very beginner friendly video, you can let me know in the comments or in the school community. Right? Then, then we have is decision engine. So this is our decision engine. In which, uh, what are the things we can have? Let's say we have position sizing. We have risk management. We have signal strength evaluation. We have entry exit timing. And we have order execution planning. Right? And then last we have trading signals. This is the trading signals. Right? In which, what do we have? We have like, let's say, and the signal gave us that you need to buy or you need to sell or you need to let's say hold with any confidence levels right so this is what a basic uh, signal generator looks like so in this video we are starting with very basic because we are still in chapter 3 of the book we are in the chapter 3 of the book chapter 3 of the book right so the plan is from chapter 3 to chapter 11 we will build the level right the very basic level then a little bit higher then a little bit higher 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 and then up to 11 we will be at a very advanced level right so this is the way we, be, we are going to cover this so but in this chapter 3 very basic the code is like it's a very basic code just to give you an understanding even if you are a beginner right so now let's quickly understand the code uh, very quickly I already deployed the code uh, into the live application on Rapid, and also I have shared the code in the GitHub. You can find the link in the community or in the description, right? So it's, it's completely free. Don't worry, right? The link and uh, this this code link is completely free. Okay. So now let's move to the uh, code editor and understand the logic behind this. Okay. So this is our day eighty, if you can see on the screen, and if you read. It's better to read the uh, MD file first. So let me just take the preview of this. So if you can see, uh, it's very beginner friendly, right? You will get the link of community, and then these are the features, right? Uh, it will create simple trading rules using technical indicators. Then it will analyze the stocks based on the moving average RSI and volume. Very basic, right? Then it will generate the buy and sell or hold signal, right? Then it will identify golden cross and death cross conditions so we have like deliberately put uh, less conditions because it's a, because this is a very beginner uh, friendly uh, level this one then it will calculate the percentage difference between price and moving average and then it will implement that and we will like even have okay and even i have put some uh, indicators visually like emojis so that even the the beginners don't get overwhelmed right so okay so now let's uh, move to the notebook file. Actually, the notebook file, uh, the, the notebook file and Python files are exactly the same. Like the Python, you can uh, likely run on your system, and in notebook you can visualize step by step, right? So we'll just test with the Python notebook. So let me open that and give you a brief idea about that. Okay. So and so this is. Uh, the symbol like uh, print statements in which uh, it is asking us for the symbol, the current price, the moving average 50 and the moving average 200 and RSI volume and average volume. So you might be thinking at why it is very like we, we have to put everything because this chapter is based on the, in, the initial concept of Python, the variables, the input and the data structure loops. That's why these are just to make you like practice more. The the thing you have to do is you just see this logic, just see, and then you try to create your own code, right? And then deploy it on the live uh, platforms anywhere it can be. Okay, so so this is the golden cross when the moving average fifty is higher than moving average two hundred, and this is path cross when the moving average is less than the uh, moving average two hundred, right? So it will it will make that the the golden cross and death cross at that time exactly. Okay, then it will calculate the percentage difference, right? The formula for that. Then, uh, if the condition, this is the condition, the if or else condition. So, because we want to uh, learn the conditions here 
that's why i have put more on the basic part right so if the golden cross if we have the data in which there is a golden cross then it will print that golden cross detected and if it identified that it is a death cross then it will print that death cross detected right and if both not there then it will print that no cross winner detected then it will generate the buy sell and hold signal here and we have these if and else conditions here right you can see it's very easy code very easy and i explained it multiple times previously also so let me quickly run it so let's go here and ship enter so it is asking us for the stock symbol so you can enter any symbol let's say uh, amazon and price we bought at was 100 let's say if we put move average is like 80 and 200 is let's say 70 97 it's okay uh, rsi you can take let's say 12 and trading volume let you can take any and uh, average let's put any value for now okay you will get this thing that the price for this 50 day ma is 25 percent right the matrix and the death cross is predicted here the means that the, the stock is currently bearish and the recommendation is hold right and uh, also reason is mixed or neutral signals no clear buy or sell indications right so this is what you will catch uh, on the chapter 3 right so and uh, if you have any questions and if you want to talk with me directly you can join the community or you can join our weekly calls uh, where I respond all the queries whatever you have and uh, I help in many strategies if you want to build your own strategy I, I do help in that also and if you are like if you are studying and if you need any help in any project or any concepts then you can let me know uh, we can discuss that right this was like this was the python notebook implementation and if you want to implement this uh, this one this python file for that what you can do you just go to your uh, terminal right so let's say if you are here so we'll just check where you are here uh, let me check uh, let me get, let me make it a little bit large bigger okay so here you check your location you are in the 100 days so you have to go to day 80 to run that so day 80 and now we have already checked the python notebook right and you can read this read md file from the github also no issues but now we want to run this python file right so for that what you can do you can just write python uh, it depends on your system environment that you have python installed or python 3 and what are the uh, environment variables right so let's say if you have python 3 so then you can just write python 3 and the file name so when you hit enter it says python 3 command not found because i do have set the uh, the environment variable for python 1 so i'll just remove 3 here the spelling is wrong python 3 right so now if you see the application is running perfectly fine you can just add all the values and you can run this this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have an awesome day